Hello, I'm Shane Kassad. I'm the Bill Stein product manager here at Bill Stein Shock Absorbers. And we wanted to talk to you today about a new kit that we're releasing for a Jeep JL. Now this kit is designed specifically for Jeep JL Rubicon four-door. And the intent is for people that want to run 35 inch tall tires. So this is designed for a Jeep that's been delivered from the factory with 33s and you want to upgrade up to a 35. So this suspension is designed to lift the vehicle 1.5 inches. And the reason why we're staying with 1.5 inch is because we want to keep a similar wheel gap that you had with your factory 33s. So going to a 35, raising it up just slightly, you're going to have a very similar wheel gap, so it's going to have the right aesthetic with a 35. Now the other reason why we're sticking with one and a half inch lift is very important, and that's suspension geometry. At 1.5 inches of lift, your suspension geometry is virtually un unchanged, meaning your track width is only slightly varied, your caster numbers can be aligned. So with the 1.5 inch lift, you won't need aftermarket control arms, track bars, track bar relocation solutions, or anything like that. And you basically are looking at replacing the springs and the shocks and the sway bar links, three items. And with those three items, you'll be able to get the inch and a half lift you want with the 35s and keep a lot of the OEM components. This suspension system is designed for the Jeep Rubicon with either the two liter turbo or the six cylinder Pentas car. We will have a, a package for using a winch or not using a winch. So if you know you're not gonna use a winch, you want the inch and a half lift, we'll have a package for that. If you know you're gonna use a winch, it'll have a heavier load front coil. Now this will also fit the base model suspension found in the Sport, the Willys, or the Sahara. But if you want to run 35s, you will have to replace the factory fenders with a Rubicon OEM fenders or an aftermarket equivalent. Let me go over what this kit comes with. So the heart of the suspension systems are these cold wound coil springs that are going to offer a lot more droop travel than the factory suspension. And to help that, we're including four Bilstein Monotube 5100 series dampers. Now these are, the extended length of these are perfect. They go perfect with the springs and they are gonna allow you know, more wheel travel, more articulation. The Monotube shocks, if you notice, have a vulcanized rubber bushing that's gonna give you long life. Over here we have the rear coils, which are like the fronts, longer than the factory, they're gonna allow for much more droop travel, much more articulation. To make this whole system work together, as far as having the extended travel and uh, the extended shock travel is the sway bar links. So these sway bar links are longer than stock, but they do feature a stock design with an OEM style ball joint and a vulcanized bushing. And this will allow full range of motion with more droop and more droop from the shocks. The next key feature is the bump stop striker pads. This is the rear one. Over here is the front. The, they're made out of billet aluminum. They feature a beveled edge. And the reason for that is so that when the bump stop comes in and hits the side of these things, it won't tear. So it's very important to have a beveled edge here. The next item on the kit is a sway bar relocation bracket. The sway bar relocation bracket is moving the sway bar down. This combined with a particular sway bar length will allow you to run stock wheels if you'd like. So you don't have to change your rims to run the 35s, it's no problem. Now you can use any popular aftermarket offset, it's not an issue. But if you want to save that expense, you can run factory 35s. The kit also comes with the front lower isolators and this is uh, essentially designed to match with the coil springs to keep the spring from bowing as it cycles through its travel. Now, the reason why we're adding springs is very important. The Jeep JL has a lot of extra suspension travel. Um, it has a lot more movement in the drive line, and it has a lot more movement in the brake lines. And by adding the additional coil springs, they're actually longer than stock. We're actually able to get a lot more wheel travel and articulation and overall performance. So the inch and a half lift is not only just to put the 35s on, but we feel that someone buying this kit would want extra articulation, extra wheel travel, and extra performance. So it's really a win-win situation with this 
entire kit.